Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, and I'm here with my Royals season as we are continuing. If you know, we just played the 2023 season, our initial season in my Royals replay, and we finished uh, one game out of last, pl or uh, yes, one game out of last place with a 70 and 92 record, um, <clears throat> which is much better than the actual 20. 23 uh, Royals did. Um, so uh, we are now in the off season. Um, the World Series has been played. So let me see if we can go get the. Uh, um, let's go playoff history. Here we go. We finally found it. So the Toronto Blue Jays won the World Series over the Atlanta Braves four games to one. Uh, you can see right here on the screen. This is the the playoff tree, um, how it how it unfolded, how everything un unfolded, and uh, so yeah, we the uh, Blue Jays are the world champions of our league, and we will go back to the manager's office, and uh, we will proceed. Now the off season starts today, they say, and so let's read an important message today. The arbitration period begins, um, but anyway, we will go. We'll go a little bit um, at a time here. Yeah, simulate to this date. And then we'll go back and we'll take a look and see what happened. Now, uh, there was voting on certain things, so let's player transaction notes. Uh, this is just what the GM did. Now, as a reminder, I'm just the manager of the Royals. I'm not the GM. So the AI is the, is the GM, and he makes all of the deals for the team. Um, our fan loyalty dropped. To below average. Well, I mean, I don't know what it could have been before. We really weren't supposed to be a good team. Um, the Kansas City Royals will retire number 23 in honor of Zach Greinke. So we've got Zach Greinke retiring, which I knew was going to happen. Um, let's see if we can get some of this. We'll, we'll take off, uh oh, take off special accomplishments at least. All right, so, um... Franny Cabos from the Houston Astros has been approved. The player is now a member of your organization. Well, let's check him out. Well, he's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, looks like he's a relief pitcher. And, uh, yeah. Well, there's good news. Go back to the manager's office. Um, all right, here's a trade that we made. A trade was announced today in Oakland. Not satisfied with their current roster, the Oakland Athletics general manager shook things up by acquiring 30-year-old left-handed pitcher Josh Taylor and a 23-year-old minor league catcher, Luca Tresh, from the Kansas City Royals for 23-year-old minor leaguer, Wander Guante. So let's check him out. He's pretty good. All right. So far, no real earth-shattering things, but, you know, we will... Um, we'll take it. Oh, a 
again. We're way back. Oh, I don't know why it puts me way back for... Um, Chris Bubich has been awarded a new one-year contract in sal salary arbitration. All right. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. I like Bubich. All right. So we've got free agent filings. Let's see if we can get any of these guys. Winter meetings. Let's go to right after the winter meetings. So let's see what else we did. There again. All right, we dealt with Toronto. Toronto and Kansas City have swapped players. The Blue Jays announced today they have sent 23 year old minor leaguer Alejandro Malian and 20 year old minor leaguer right handed pitcher Nolan Perry to the, rain, to the Royals in exchange for 35 year old minor leaguer Aaron Loop and 24 year old minor leaguer. Trey Gentry or Tyler Gentry. Um, Tampa Bay and Kansas City have made a swap. Players involved in the transaction are right handed pitcher Colby White and 17 year old minor leaguer Brayler Guerrero and the Royals 23 year old minor leaguer Mikhail Garcia and 22 year old minor leaguer Ryan Ramsey. Again, nothing really earth, earth shattering. It's, it's minor leaguers that we're exchanging here. Um, draft lottery and interestingly we're not even in the draft lottery okay so let's move along let's go to January 1st and see where we are Okay, and let's get up to where Rule 5 Draft, Ronnie Henriquez waiver claim from the Twins. All right, and we got another trade here, Nick Prado. It's been reported in the rumor mill, uh, but uh, today Kansas City and Chicago confirmed an agreement. The Roy Royals dealt 25... No, we traded um, Prado to the Cubs. Traded Prado to the Cubs, 24-year-old um, minor leaguer Peyton Wilson and an 18-year-old minor league catcher Jose Medina to the Cubs for 28-year-old Albert Elzele and 24-year-old... Um, uh, left-handed pitcher Robert Gasser. Let's take a look at Elzele. Elzele isn't bad. I mean, still, I think I consider these to be minor league or minor deals. They're not really, we're not going out and getting a big name free agent, but probably uh, that isn't going to happen. Uh, you got to believe that isn't going to happen. Um, <clears throat> if we take a look at our finances here, and let's take a look at that team home screen. Okay. Front office. So, yeah, our play our payroll <coughs> our payroll is 25th. So, <clears throat> and our budget is tied for 27th. Fan loyalty dying, market size not very big, uh, fan interest not that good. So, uh, you know, that uh, you can probably guess that we're not going to be making any uh, big splashes here. Yes, the lineups are set. And the pitching rotation. And yes, the pitching rotation is set. So we are set to start 
the and I guess we did start the season and we started off 0 and 1 opening day uh, all right so as I said we uh, I accidentally started the 2024 season we started off 0 and 1 against the Astros we are still in a series with the Astros and we will have in game two going up for us will be Alejandro Malane and uh, he'll go up against Lance McCullers Jr. Uh, let me just take a look. I'm not going to play any more games of the season. We'll do that a little later on um, in uh, subsequent videos, but let's take a look at the pitching staff and the uh, lineups that we will have for this 2024 season after all of these uh, nominal, really what you have to say was nominal trades were made by our GM. We will have Brady Singer um, uh, pitching uh, in the rotation. Laza Jesus Lazardo will be in our rotation. Alejandro Malane, who uh, earlier in the video we had obtained in a trade. Walker Lockett will be in the rotation and it will be um, uh, rounded out by Angel Zerpa. So uh, we'll take a quick look at some of these guys. Uh, Zerpa doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's go down to uh, the pitching again. Pitching staff. Take a look at Lockett. Lockett looks pretty good. I mean, these guys, as far as these, you know, the bars look, they look pretty good. So we'll see if that translates to a uh, decent season for us um, and uh, Mullane will take a look yeah he looks pretty good too especially with the curve he's got a great curve um, and then uh, Lazardo I think we looked at earlier and you know Singer so the pitching staff, the starting staff, doesn't look that bad. Let's go look at the lineups really quickly. Uh, lineup versus righties. You've got Bobby Witt Jr., Michael Massey, who had a great year for us last year, Salvador Perez, Vinny Pasquatino, Franmil Reyes, Edward Olivares, Kyle Isbell in center, Drew Waters in left, and Nicky Lopez at short. And the lineup versus left is uh, pretty much the same, pretty much the same thing. Um, so that's how we're going to line up this year. The lineup isn't too much different than it was last year. Um, so we'll see. It looks like the pitching staff overall has improved a little bit, especially if those ratings hold up, um, as I certainly hope that they do. Um, and uh, so that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off and look for the 2024 season a little later on um, on my channel.